we are going to take a look at the Rainbow Heaven 510 voltmeter. Uh, this was purchased from Discount Vapors. It was $15, maybe $16, I believe $15 now. And uh, it's supposed to be used for checking the voltage drop of your mods under a load. Now, this is exactly how I received this. Only difference is it came in this little cellophane right here, which I had to rip apart to get to it. But even in, inside the cellophane, when I opened this box, that's how this thing came. It was even wrapped in the cellophane, basically like that. Uh, as you can see, it just comes apart for easy access with no trouble at all. Now, on the site, it does say or does recommend that you glue these caps on didn't say anything about being ripped apart like this but I guess that's implied by having to glue the caps on uh, some of you might actually be able to see where I'm gonna go with this video and what the problem with this thing is already alright we'll try to get this back together the best I can now I'm gonna show you Got an AW18650. This is 4.12 volts. Um, where is it that I wanted to check real quick? Da -da -da. I am gonna use this pretty much as the, the base test. I believe it's 0.6 ohms. And yes, I am doing it on that uh, SVD. It's just a lot easier than trying to hold those things on different parts and all that. Alright, the resistance 0 0.6 ohms. Okay. So now I got that. Excuse me. Eating on a good piece of candy. Alright. Get that in there. Now we know our battery is charged to 4.12 voltmeter says it my charger even if I, when I do it back on there real quick says it so we'll, we'll screw the voltmeter on I should be able to tighten this up push the button and it's gonna tell me 4.12 right wrong 4.08 so it's 0 0.04 volts off just checking the battery or could it be maybe that's the the resistance of the mod so you know what we'll we'll give it the benefit of the doubt and I'll try to find this lead right here I'll hook, put the negative to it and this is a whole pain in the butt but I'm gonna do it hopefully I can get that center pin there push the button 4.12 okay so the mods putting all the power through that's already 0 0.04 off it's okay so now we'll, we'll, we'll screw this on so it already has a 0 0.4 0 0.04 drop okay 3.52 under load whoa 3.46 under load 3.47 under load so somewhere between 3.46 and 3.55 we'll say somewhere it, I should get a reading of somewhere in that range from my from my uh, little voltmeter right so we'll, we'll take a little test make sure everything's all short up pop this cap off and do this whole pain in the butt holding leads everywhere which I wanted to avoid so I can start showing stuff like this in a video or two so I had that on there, push the button, 3.76, 3.75, 3.72, it's well above even the highest number, almost two tenths higher on average at least. 
So clearly, and this thing's accurate. I've owned others. They all give me the same same numbers as this. So clearly, there's something going on with that little voltmeter that has disappeared with this thing. Now back to the inside. And like I said, I'm sure some of you noticed it. These wires, they are actually too thin to, to allow the amount of amps or allow the amount of current needed for those low ohms. With they, they have their own inherent resistance to them. These are way too thin for that for this application. Just the power of the battery alone already seems to basically max these out and start showing a voltage drop when there is none. So this is just not going to be of any use at all to judge the performance of your mod, especially if you're comparing it and you, you want it, your numbers to match up to people using these or much, much nicer setups. Uh, I guess if you want to kind of judge it against mods of your own, you can. But again, it it seems to be inconsistent. And one, I don't, it doesn't, it just doesn't work accurate, accurately enough to really judge anything. Even on the same mod, if I were to use the same setup, it might give me one reading one time and then be 0.3 off the next time and then go back up. Yeah, that could be the battery. But I really think it has, it's definitely the big drop is because of these wires. So this this is the big no buy from discount vapors, especially for $15. I'm still waiting on the one from Sunny Vapors. Hopefully that will be better. I... I really couldn't tell from the pictures if the wires were bigger or not, but I mean, I'm I'm hoping so because I would like to at least be able to show stuff. That that's pretty much it for this one. The uh, Rainbow Heaven 510, 510 volt meter is definitely a no go. It just it is not built properly. It does have little. 510 everything brass up there I have not had a problem with this making connection with anything but it doesn't really matter because it doesn't put out accurate numbers uh, either look for one of the good ones that are never in stock or maybe chance with the sunny vaping or wait till I get one of those and put it and can see if that's any better but don't waste your money on the, this rainbow heaven version it's just going to mislead you to think good mods are bad and when it's just not the case. Thank you guys for watching and it's probably Christmas by the time this is uploaded. So I hope everybody is having a Merry Christmas. Thank you.